How Not to Body Work 101 with TK Speed Shop. So, I gotta do something with this. And I could just shoot it as is, but you know, I got all these cracks and spreads and stuff, and I kinda just don't wanna leave it like that. So I went down, got some, some glazing, got some more of these. Probably not the correct way of doing things, but um, not a professional, so. That works. So I'm gonna attempt to put this stuff onto that and see can I smooth it out. Let's see what's gonna happen. Never done nothing like this a day in my life. So. Hmm. Something tells me this is gonna go horribly wrong. I don't know, this seems pretty easy enough. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this incorrectly, but this seems pretty easy enough. Look, as long as it's good enough, you feel me? I'll bring you back when we get a little bit more progress done. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we use way too much, but, we're gonna let that little percolate a little bit, but I kinda well, caked it on. I'm gonna have to do more sanding. Oh well. We got the actual piece that goes here, the bumper support. We got it painted and cleaned up. So now I guess it's time for us to shift our attention to this god awful looking wheel well. I mean, I've already scrubbed it and cleaned it, but what I'm about to do now is just for simplicity's sake, we're about to take some brake clean and we're about to We don't need any, any boo-boos. We need to make sure it's 100% clean though. There we go. We're gonna let that air out a little bit, let it dry up, and then we're gonna hit it with this Raptor. I bought two cans because I got it on the sale, but it's some good stuff. So I'm gonna let this air out, bring you back, and then we're gonna. Psh, 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 psh. Honky donkey. This shit stank. That look good. Uh, guys, I'm trying to figure out. I was doing some research last night and I don't know now if I want to run a blow through carb or do I want to use like a throttle by the EFI setup, like a super sniper, or aces if they email me back, or some of those sorts. I really been considering going aces on this if I do go that option, because we already gotta do a fuel system in this. 
I didn't realize how much blow through carburetors have gotten over time. And um, after doing the research, I was like, God, that's just as much as the EFI unit. So we kind of got to figure out uh, if that's something we're going to like, if we're going to buy a blow through, why not do EFI? A throttle body EFI kind of setup. I don't know. I need to figure this stuff out. But let me know what you guys think before we make all these decisions because we still got to do a fuel system. And I kind of want to go ahead and make a little checklist of everything that we need. <clears throat> Anywho. We're gonna let that chill out for a minute and then I guess I need to run my butt to the parts store and get some bolts for this because I don't have any bolts for this. So I wanna go ahead and get this mounted up there and we need to game plan whether or not I need to get my butt up underneath here and start cleaning up underneath that, which I'll do that off camera. There's no point in you watching me clean from up underneath there. Or I might take some of that leftover paint and I might tap tap up in here. I don't know. I got some thinking to do, but we'll be back. Whew. You may not can tell, but the day then kind of got past me. It's dark. Not in here, obviously, but it's dark now. Day kind of caught up. So we went ahead and we, we put this back on. That's sturdy as she can get. With a little help of our friend here, Mr. Jack and Woodblock with Tile, we was able to scoose that on up without any issues and i went ahead off camera and all that crud you seen we sanded it down and got it as smooth as possible and we filled in as much as we possibly can so i'm about to call it a night i'm gonna get that on some stands i'm gonna shoot it with some quick primer and then I'm gonna call it a night and hit the bed. Got work early in the morning and then we're gonna be rolling into Thanksgiving. So, if you made it to this point of the video, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, just wanted to give you guys that before I went ahead and called it a night. I was doing all this stuff and I kinda got caught up. And then before I knew it, it was already like 10 o'clock at night and I was like, ugh. So, <laughs> But anywho, don't want to bore you with any, any paint, paint and stuff. I'll just come back to you guys. For you, it'll be in a second. But I'll see you guys in like two days. You thought I was going to leave you hanging like that? Nah. Well, I mean, I am, but... Look at it! Look! Look at it! Ooh! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. sup guys we're back well now that thanksgiving's over with and i didn't had two days of work and whatnot it's time for us to get back on the 77 guys i'm gonna be 100 percent honest in these past couple days that i've been out not recording i've been sitting here thinking there's a couple things we need to address with this going forward, okay? We need to figure out what are we gonna do. So I've been doing some little researching and stuff. We're gonna run a turbo on this. Yeah, cool, whatever. That's down the road. That's not going to get us going immediately. So we need to prep for that. So I got on the internet and I looked up you know, EFI tanks and this, that, and the other. We came to the conclusion that we're not going to run a fuel cell. We're going to actually run a bolt-in tank, you know, with a pump intake. And with that, we're going to run a regulator that supports one-to-one -one for boost. Now, this is where things get interesting at. After looking at the prices from CSU and another manufacturer that does blow-through carburetors, do we do a blow through on this or do we do like a 
EFI TBI setup. Now, I do not want to go with the injectors. We don't want to do that because from what I understand, we do not need an intercooler when we're running a blow through setup. So a TBI EFI setup is kind of the same. So do we run a TBI EFI setup on the top end? Or do we just spend the money on the blow through? They're both about the same damn price, to be honest with you. If we run with the carb setup, we can go ahead and run our MSD box and all that stuff. That's cool. If we run with the EFI setup, that stuff goes back on the shelf for another project. Dude, I've had that box and that intake for like almost four years now and it can't seem to find a way to stay on a motor. But, anywho, we need to figure that out. So comment down below, what do you think will be better for this? A blow through or a TBI EFI setup? If we do, go with a blow through, it'll be nine times out of 10, a CSU carburetor. If we go through EFI, I want to go ACES, but same time, I don't know guys. I really don't know. I would love to do more ACES stuff, but we're not gonna discuss any of that kind of stuff today. Anywho, I last left you right here. We did all the necessary half butch body work on that. I can also bring you in on how all this looks now since it's done dried. That looks like a win to me. So that's cool. I plan on getting up underneath this because it is bad. We need to do something about all of that. But I don't know if we'll do that in this video. Cause I feel like this video is getting a little long now. I don't wanna keep these videos on the Trans Am super long. So we might just finish this up and then who knows next week or the next video you might get a Dodge video, cause who knows, I may have got Dodge parts in now. But whatever, let's get this sprayed with our turf ski cans. I'm gonna get a test pattern going. And before you say anything, I've already pre-sanded this again and taxed and grease removed it. So, for a little bit and um i'll bring you back for a second coat but we got good coverage we got good coverage guys oh that was bad on my knees i'll be back okie dokie now we don't let it 
percolate a little bit. This is the second coat. It then kind of is starting to dry. You can see it still got a little sheen to it, but all that stuff's kind of gonna dissipate. We treated it just like we treated that over there. So needless to say, all that stuff will turn out great. Side note, so when we pulled that drive shaft out of that 92, I finally figured out it was a 92 D100. 49 and a quarter. For a turbo 350, we need 49 and a half for this. So it got a guy thinking, maybe I could yoke swap? I don't know. Just something to put in the back of your head and entertain a little while. Well, there's really not much for us left to do today, honestly. And it's kind of already been a couple days with the holidays coming up since I got you guys a video. So we're probably going to go ahead and call it today. Um, so we touched the wheel wells. We got that mounted up off camera, which with my helper, that's pretty cool. We um, got the bumper situated with some half shenanigans body work. And I really mean this guys, put it down in the comment section below, blow through or thought about a T, um, TBI. I'm, we gotta figure out something. Since we're going turbo, we might as well go ahead and delete our heater box too. Go ahead and get that out. I've been doing some test fitting with the old heater box and with the way that our turbo is gonna sit up, which is gonna be in this general area, when we run our exhaust out, if I put that box back on here, it's gonna confine all of this. And I kinda wanna be able to just snake it right on back down through there and be done with it. If we can't snake it out through there, I really don't wanna cut a hole in the hood for that. If we even run that hood, probably not. And I really don't wanna run no side, as cool as it would be to run a side exhaust, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't think it'll be practical for everyday shenanigans because I plan on driving this occasionally once everything's said and done. And I, I just, I could imagine myself in the left lane and just, you know, I'm gonna get greedy and I'm gonna want a two-step and it's, you know, car right next to me and it's kind of like, pup, pup, pup. so we might need to be civil and go ahead and run the exhaust on out. I don't know yet. We ain't figured that out. We'll get there with you guys' help, of course. And I need to go ahead and order the entire front accessory drive that I'm gonna run on this. ICT billet sales are really cool, like identical setup for the truck. So we're gonna run truck accessories on this because we already got the LS3 style Camaro crank on here. What I'm thinking about doing is because we got this steam port and I want to play some some games with um, with the radiator because I really don't want to spend a shit ton of money on the radiator for this. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about ordering an LS1 style Camaro water pump and getting those spacers that space this out. But they sell, the ones that they sell have one port on one of them, the MPT quarter inch port. So I wanna have two because we might run like a sensor off of one of them. So I'm gonna have to order that twice so I can get an MPT for both sides because these ports are identical. They just flip flop. So we'll probably do that. That ICT billet truck one, it tucks the power steering up an inch which might help us out with all this clearance issues the issues that we might have over here i'm not worried about this because we are going to be running only one turbo and we're going to be running our drain on that side so i don't think we'll have any issues going on right here and it'll bring the alternator up over here and then we'll have like our typical tensioner hanging out right about there that and i already got an um uh dr 
the cool truck alternator and I already got like a I already got a power steering pump too so you know why not use that for trying to we, we don't got to make this one look extremely fancy but I would like all the accessories to kind of flow this way that way we leave room for the turbo in the future so that's pretty cool but we also got to figure that out I got a steering box for it I don't know if it's worth the poop so we're gonna have to figure that out and that'll pretty much wrap all this stuff up. I don't know if I need to do anything with this suspension. I think we're gonna just gonna run it as is and if it give us any problems when we actually put this on the road, then we'll just handle that when it happens. The ideal is just getting this to move. That's the plan. And we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with a shifter and seats. I'm thinking about buying some of them Scamazon seats that they're, they're basic seats. I'm thinking about buying some of those and getting the mounts and figuring all that stuff out. And as far as like shifter goes, we might just get a basic TCI shifter or something for the time being and just mount it in the floor, no center console and just let bygones be bygones because we're trying to get this done quick, dirty, simple, cheap. And of course, fuel system. But I'm rambling. I want to thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Guys, I don't know what's going on, but these past three videos within this past, excuse me, within this past month, we've gained 200 subscribers. We're knocking on the door to 1500, which is insane. And if you made it to this part of the video and you have not realized yet, we finally became monetized on YouTube, guys. So boom, we're monetized. I apologize in advance for the ads. There's a lot, I went back and I watched a couple of my own videos and the ads are kinda, yeah. So that means we kinda gotta be a little bit careful with our swearing and stuff. So I'm gonna try to be, They when I posted the last video when it told me I was monetized, I was looking at some of the, like the schematics and like some of the stuff that you could edit and this, that, God, there's a lot of stuff. So, but we're still gonna trace, stay, stay true to ourselves. If we just happen to slip up and say a bad word, then you know, eh, it is what it is. This is just one step forward, guys. One step forward of our goal of getting that silver play button and trying to turn this dream into a reality but i digress i hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving we are beyond blessed i love each and every last one of you guys and remember i was gonna say something very uh, philosophical but that's not who i am i'll see you guys in the next video it's looking even better as it sits there and just. Oh, I didn't say. What's up, guys? Kyle with TK Speed Shop. See you in the next video.